Welcome back to St. Nits Town TV. Um, Derby match, Bank Holiday Monday. Um, not a glorious summer's day, but a fine victory, 2-0. David, what do you make of that? I think uh, it's, it's going to be an awkward game because they are a good side. They're far stronger than they were last season and they've got some good players and, and a lot of strength. Um, so we knew it was going to be a difficult, difficult game. Obviously, they beat Leamington at, at the weekend, which is no easy feat. And for the first 20 minutes, I thought they were better than us. They got the They got in behind us more um, and they looked more dangerous. Uh, and if you'd have said to me after 20 minutes we'll we'll get a 2-0 win, I'd have bitten your hand off. And then Brett got himself sent off and At that time, if you'd have said to me, I'll take take a draw, I'd have bitten your hand off. Um, but actually, we played quite well after that. I thought we were the better side for the second half. Literally, as soon as Brett was sent off, when we went down to 10 men, I thought we were the better side. And I thought the second half, we were very professional. Connor, when you're in a match like that, and it's, and it's obvious that the opposition had got off to a flyer, um, what goes through your mind? Do you, do you sort of think, Crikey, we're going to get anything out of this today, or do you just settle in and, and do your thing? No, you just got to look at it as a team perspective and uh, just get everyone tight, everyone behind the ball, and main thing, get people doing their jobs, try and stick to method. Um, but we've got to try and stay compact, really, when, when the game gets tough, and when we can, when we get a chance to 
get it in behind, get it in behind with quality and then get regains and try and keep it done in their final third. So the red card of Brett, was that a turning point in the game today because we did seem a bit more inspired after that, didn't we? And it's funny how that always seems to go like that, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, but not normally so early in a game. Um, I think there was I think there was two turning points in the game. One was when Brett got sent off, and it changed the, the flow of the game straight away. We obviously changed our shape, and for one one reason or another, got better at doing the things that we were hoping to do from the start, and caused them more problems. Scored a goal, and then kind of five ten minutes or whatever it was before half time. When uh, Ryan has got himself sent off for Biggles Wade, that changed it. that changed the game as well because then at that point all of a sudden we knew then that we had the upper hand so even at 1-0 with 10 men you're kind of thinking right this is going to be a slog yeah. but uh, 10 men versus 10 men and 1-0 up you kind of think well we've, we should be have enough here to, do, to, to see this out. We had that momentum today didn't we once we got that goal fine goal by Ryan Hawkins um, I think he picked up a ball from Tom really he just sort of nick it off his foot and and run through, just picking up the scraps on the 18-yard box. It was a regain, box. wasn't it? Off yeah. of, off of uh, their, I think there's a throwing in there, throwing in the final third, which Connors, I think, has won the header and headed it inside. Their centre halfs, uh, Tom's, uh, made him head it, head the ball down, and I think Ryan's picked the ball up and just driven at it. And when he does that, he's good, Ryan. And uh, he was instrumental in the second goal, actually, believe it or not, because I'm, I'm sure if you kind of wind back the video, you'll see he did something that we've been trying to get him to do for a few weeks which is he, 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 he got himself his space and fought for his space and used a bit of strength and, and um, passion I suppose and just made sure that he won the ball, got himself the ball on the halfway line, I think won a free kick out of it, from that free kick we had about two or three balls into their box culminating in, uh, in Tom's goal so he had a big part to play in the two goals today. Ryan and so pleased for him. And again Tom was um, alive and feeding off stuff inside the six yard box but I think Kingy just nodded it on there's lots of players there well on side and I think it was a chest and a finish wasn't it? It chops him and you just think gold don't you? Yeah. It's, it's, you know that's all you think. Um, his finishing is unbelievable isn't it? Um, so yeah really pleased for him. So um, just tell us about your role in the team Connor how you settled in you're a new player at the club even though you you're a local boy. Um, what's it feel like to be playing for St. Nits Town? And yeah, brilliant. brilliant to play for my home club. Um, I spoke about it last season to, to family and friends and wanted to get it done. And then luckily enough, Batchy came in for me and it was a no-brainer. Straight away, no-brainer. Um, got it sorted early on, come here, got myself ready, prepared for, uh, for the season, uh, for pre-season. And been given the opportunity to come into midfield now. I feel like I've done well stepping into that role and I uh, hope it continues really. And what, what's the mindset behind your game there in midfield? Are you a midfielding force or you got a bit more creative freedom to get forwards? Uh, just just try and feed off scraps, get get the knockdowns coming in from the from the wide player or the striker and get it in behind with quality or along the floor, over the top, just yeah, just rat around, get second balls, nick balls, win balls off the players, off the opposition, um, pin in front, of their strikers and wide men, and yeah, just just right around. Just really. cause hassle for the yeah. opposition, yeah, and you're not afraid to um, give the ball a good welly from outside yeah. the box, are you? As you see earlier, when it went wayward. <laughs> <laughs> well, it went out for a corner, didn't it? That one. Is that a long it shot? It went out for a corner, and you were really keen to oh, yeah. tell everyone that you couldn't have passed it wide. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to get. Yeah. Yeah, rollicking from yeah, the side but they, line. They, actually, there weren't anyone wide no. that time, so we weren't going to. The second one, I want about the second half oh, okay. when, when it's dropped to me and it's gone well wide, I think. So, um, moving on now. Oh, sorry, no. Let's have cast our minds back to Weymouth. You've mentioned it already. Um, a 1 1 draw we conceded late on, um, but a point on the road, is that a good result?
anyone who goes to Weymouth and get a point is pleased. Um, difficult place to go, in particular for the sides at this end of the country, because it's obviously quite a journey. And uh, they're a good side, and they'll, they, you know, by rights they should be up there. You know, they've been used to playing in the conference for a few seasons at the, in recent history, and they they should be sniffing in around the playoffs as they were last season. Um, so to go there and get a point is you take all day. Um, were we pleased with the point? Yes. Could we have got three? Probably. If we'd have done one thing a little bit better, and. Uh, but you know that happens in football sometimes. You know we're not always going to win every point we, we get, and we're going to uh, we earn. Sorry, and um, we're also going to have it the other way. We're not going to earn deserved points, and we're going to pick some up sometimes. Yeah. So you know that it really does even itself out over the course of the season. So, um, but a point is is pleasing, and we said after the game you turn it into a great point if you go and get three today, and the fellas have gone and done that. Um. On the road now for a few weeks, aren't we? We've got three three away matches, including an FA Cup tie, which is still to be um, decided. Um, how are we prepare? Well, it's uh, Chippenham next Saturday. That's a mm -hmm. that's a big game potentially, isn't it? Well, they've started really well. I said all along that our our start is a really hard one, isn't it? You know, if you look at we've played probably three of the top six already. Um, the ones who will finish in the top six. We've uh, got the longest away trip of the season done. Yeah. Um, and we've now got a couple of league away games. One is against Chippenham, who've started off well, and they're flying, they're top of the league. And then the next one's Hungerford, who were in the playoffs last season. And, and last season, they were the best organised side we played, I thought. So, difficult start. And I said, but I said to Chem, you know, if we're kind of eighth, ninth, top eight, nine, in, uh, after a couple of months, no problem. You don't win nothing, you don't win anything now. We learnt that last season. We were about tenth on New Year's Day, and we ended up fifth in the league. So, it's, we we just need to be at Christmas within touching distance or there or thereabouts, and then uh, after Christmas is when you have to turn it on. Yeah, you see the season in little chunks, don't you? You know, there's there's batches of games coming up, and um, we've certainly got a run now on the road. And is the FA Cup a welcome distraction amongst you know this busy start to the league? I wouldn't say it's a welcome distraction. It's, just, it's another game to go yeah. and, to go and have. You know, you just have to go and perform as well as you can. The being honest, the, you know, we're not going to win the FA Cup, so you just go and take what you get, don't you? You, yeah. you know, if you play, if you perform and you get a result, and then you find yourself in the next round, all of a sudden you do that two or three times, you get kind of get everyone gets a little bit excited about a nice little tie um, at home. That's what happens, but you're not going to win it, and it's, it's it's kind of a bit naive to think that it's uh, it's the chance of you know a real glory trail because mm. that only happens to three or four clubs um, so we'll take what we can we'll try and win every game um, uh, my, my lad said to me on the way over today is, is today a must win game and I said every, every game's a must win game that's what it is that's mm. football that's what it's like in the results business you have to win um, but you're not going to every time we just need to we just hopefully we'll go there and get a result and and then see what pops up in the next round Excellent. Good stuff, Dave. Catch you uh, next Cheers. time. Dance sport at home. Thanks.